Okay, and welcome back. Um, I'm only going to do one problem uh, for this section here for rational functions and expressions. It's a little bit more difficult than some of the other ones we've done. So here it is. But if you watch the other videos, you kind of have the idea of what to do. And this is kind of like the test. Okay, so kind of treat this like a test. Actually try to do it. Uh, plus 10x. This is multiplied times 3x squared minus 75. And that is over x squared minus 3x minus 10. And that's divided by 3x squared plus 12x minus 63. And that is over x squared plus 9x plus 14. OK, so let's work this out. Let's go ahead and uh, write down the 6x and factor in the bottom a 2. And I got an x and an x here, so the lower degree is what I factor out. So I'm going to factor out a 2x, which leaves me with an x plus 5. And for the next one here, on the top, I'm going to factor out a 3, which gives me x squared minus 25. And that is going to be over. Now let's go ahead and factor this bottom one out. Um, this one factors out to be this. Well, let me see. Minus and a minus. So that means plus minus. So I got x and x. And let's write the minus sign here. And write our plus sign over here. And I'm going to want to get a negative 3x. So that means something is going to have to multiply. Uh, to get that negative uh, 3, something's going to have to add up to negative 3x but multiply to negative uh, 10. So what we got is 5 and 2, basically. So this would be 5, this would be 2. You can do the check, negative 5, and um, positive 2. It gives me a negative 3, and negative 5 times, negative t times a positive 2 is a negative 10. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. So I'm taking the top and I'm going to make it now the denominator. Okay. So in that case, this is going to be, I can factor out a 3 out of the top. So I'm going to write down a 3. Okay. Now I'm writing it down here. Remember, since you have division, you always flip whatever you're dividing by over. You're taking the reciprocal of it. So if you're not sure as to what I just did or what I'm doing right now, review the uh, review some of the videos that I have on fractions, uh, dividing fractions. Okay. So, all right. In this one here, let me set this up. So if I'm dividing by three, I'm going to get x squared plus four x minus twenty one. Okay. And on the top, and on the top here, I'm going to put what's on the bottom up here now. Okay, so this one factors out to two binomials. So let's go ahead and write the uh, uh, binomials out here. So basically, something multiplies times something else to get a 14. Well, it's going to be seven and two, and seven plus two is nine. So this one's easy. X plus seven, x plus 2. You can do the check if you want to. 7x, 2x, 7x plus 2x is 9x, 7 times 2 is 14. Good. Okay, so let's see, what else do we need to do? Well, we need to factor this out here, and we need to factor this out over here. So let's keep on going. You know, I see something already. Um, I see I can start canceling things out. I'll do that I'll do that on the next step, so that way everything's nice and uh, everything kind of flows together, like canceling happens at the very end, okay? So bear with me. So we're going to have 6x, and here we got 2x times x plus 5 times 
3 times the difference of 2 squares, which is x plus 5 times x minus 5. And that is over x minus 5 times x plus 2. Okay, times, well, the top's already done, so we have x plus 7, x plus 2. And the bottom we have 3 times, now, this factors out like this. Well, negative, okay, so basically you're looking at two numbers that multiply to 21, so that's going to be um, a 7 and a 3, and they differ by, f by 4, so that's good. So that means that this is going to be x and x, and one of them is going to have to be plus, the other one's going to be minus. So let's say that it's positive 7, because when you subtract 3 from it, you see 7x minus 3x gives you a positive 4x. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, this is kind of easy now, because everything's going to cancel out, you'll see. So in this case here, let's see, what, do we, what can we do? What, what should we do first? Well, I want to get rid of this altogether. X and X, okay? The 2 goes into the 6 three times, okay? And let's see, what else can we do? Well, the 3 goes with 3. Okay. And I see that the x plus 5 cancels with the x plus 5. Okay. x minus 5 cancels with the x minus 5. The x plus 2 cancels with the x plus 2. The x plus 7 cancels with the x plus 7. And I get x minus 3. Everything else is canceled out except for this 3 and this x minus 3 here. Okay. So in that case, my answer is going to be, for this whole problem, my answer is going to be this, 3 over x minus 3. Okay, now, the last thing I want to tell you about this problem is this. After doing all this hard work, no, you cannot cancel the 3's. This is not equal to 1 over x, okay? It's, it, that's not an answer. You cannot cancel terms. I'm mentioning this to whoever this applies to because there's going to be somebody out there that I know that's going to go, well, wait a minute, it looks like it could cancel out. Well, at that point, you're making up your own math. Definitely do not do that. But anyway, this is just one example. Um, this is actually the last example for this particular section. Um, this kind of problem you'll encounter... Uh, later on more towards uh, getting ready towards calculus because what you're really doing here is uh, you're trying to cancel um, factors because eventually in the future when you're calculating limits this is a process you're going to use to do that so get really good at this check out my other videos and uh, thanks for watching